<coughs> What's today's date, y'all? It is the 17th, all right? I'm going to read from the oracle first because I forget at the end because I be getting all into it and then I forget. Grief in action. This is from the book, The Language of Letting Go. And this is the best oracle that has worked for me for years. So I decided that I was going to use it. You know, we do this like the smell good. All right, so grief and action. It's important to let ourselves grieve as a passage between yesterday and tomorrow. But we do not have to be controlled unduly by our grief or by our pain. There are times that we have grieved, surrender to the heaviness, tiredness, and weariness of a circumstance long enough. Let me read that again. There are times when we have grieved, surrender to the heaviness, the tiredness, and the weariness of a circumstance long enough. Uh, uh, it says it, beco it becomes time to break out. It comes time to take action. Do you know that in the Bible, in the Old Testament, that the children of Israel was given 30 days to mourn Moses, a man that they knew for 40 years? Yep, God was like, all right, that's enough. Get up, let's roll. That's right. That's right. Ooh, let me hit the wow button because that was a wow. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it says, we know when it's time to break the routine of grieving. There will be signs within and around us. We would begin, we would begin to be tired of the heaviness. An idea will occur. An opportunity will present itself. We may think, no, too much effort. Do it anyway. Try something, reach out, stretch, do something unusual, something different, something special. A new activity may help trigger the transformational process. Stay up two hours later than usual. No, don't tell the Scorpio to do that. They don't sleep enough as it is. Make an appointment to do something for yourself that is different from what you usually do. Oh, this is, okay, yeah. Visit someone you haven't seen in years. This is in your energy too. So this is November 17th, so it's in your energy. Visit someone you haven't seen in years. Do something to encourage and help the energy coming your way. We may not feel like breaking out of grief. It may feel safer, easier to remain in our cocoon, but begin pushing out anyway. Test the walls of your cocoon. Push! Push a little harder. It may be time to emerge. And the affirmation is today I will trust God in the process, but I will also take action to help myself feel better. And we're coming into December, Scorpios, with the Three of Swords reverse. And that was a real tyrannical heartache that made you bleed. And it was full of grief and sorrow and pain. It was like you felt betrayed right through your heart. And the tears and the sorrow, I mean, it was just insurmountable. It could have been with a third party situation. It looks like there was a third party situation going on here. And... It looks like somebody could have been dealing with a Libra, an Aquarius, or a Gemini, okay? But I see that someone felt like they were torn away from their soulmate or from somebody who they see as a significant other, okay? Somebody feels like they were torn, and you didn't feel like you were going to have the courage or the power to be able to get through it. And one of the reasons is because you weren't using your intuition, okay? And some of you could kind of be obsessed over somebody, and it's not really love. It's kind of obsession here. You could be dealing with a, a air, I mean, an earth sign, a Taurus. I wanted to say Libra, but I said it already. A Taurus, a Capricorn, or Virgo, okay? And uh, you don't read these upside down. Let's see here. It looks like you want to continue to reach out to them, but it's three people in a situation, right? Somebody could be at a distance or perhaps 
um, there could have been some type of legal reasons that you guys are at a distance, but somebody just kind of feel like they're out of reach. So you guys could be at a distance right now. And it looks like somebody is maybe already in a relationship. So there could be a third party going on and somebody maybe extricated themselves from the situation and it took everything and a mama, 16 horses, some prayer and a truckload of Christians. You say, how can you be talking about the Bible doing tarot readings the same way that the devil comes up in the choir at church? I think fair is fair. Okay, so somebody is married, but somebody still loves an earth sign or a fire sign, okay? And it looks like um, hmm. the person who is the odd man out may have left the situation or they want to have something solid and stable with just one person. They don't want to have to share somebody. But, you know, there is conflict. There's a lot of conflict, too. There are people are attracted to the Scorpio and people are attracted to the person that the Scorpio wants okay um, but the Scorpio or uh, the Scorpio is married maybe to a Libra or the Scorpio or someone you could be a cross watcher you are perhaps already an established relationship with someone who they have no intentions of leaving okay so you liberated yourself at first somebody begin to liberate themselves by talk at first like I'm not gonna deal with this and I'm gonna liberate myself and I'm not gonna put up with this right and then um, somebody moved so there was literally somebody wow usually the page of swords don't move that fast but uh so it looks like some type of firm message was put in place followed by the legal card oh oh let me cross that legal card and see because that was a fast expedition. Oh, all right. So somebody got a restraining order put on them. There were, and somebody could have moved, and that move actually ended the connection. But somebody feels like still connected to this earth or fire sign. Okay? Let's see what's going on. So what's crowning you guys is a third party situation so somebody in this situation they literally want to have a significant other and they want somebody that they can work with on the side so this must be a scorpio man and maybe you're a cross watcher watching what the scorpio man is going to do okay let's see why is all of this happening it looks like a final judgment has been made about a situation And it looks like somebody has defined what they want. And somebody has also defined that they're not going to be second. Somebody started going to the high priestess. You could have been going to um, psychics, readers, maybe you even got a little witchcraft put on the situation. But six, seven. <laughs> yeah, but you're with a player. You're with somebody who, even though they have a primary relationship they're going to always be talking to one or two others and so you know do you really want a partner like that the answer is no you don't so it looks like this could be a lever too a lever either cut off communication with you or you set some boundaries because there was just too many fucking people in the mix all right so where do you go from here i see a new love for you scorpio I see you turning your back on that situation because it ain't going anywhere. I see either you love a water sign, you're going to reinvent something with the water sign, or you're going to start something completely new with the water sign. Yes, yes, yes. So <laughs> I see you kind of being bored though. Like, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, all right, okay, yeah. This is something that I do, right? And uh, this is a new deck, so. And these are the swords, so you got to kind of have to... Okay, so it looks like you're going to maybe start focusing on a water sign who has a lot of love to offer you,
but I just kind of feel like you guys may have some problems like boredom and it's like how do you get this relationship up and going again um, so I see you keeping a relationship intact but then I see another relationship coming to an end it represents a new cycle so those of you who are in relationships you guys may even be moving forward to marriage Okay, this is those of you who have been with somebody for a while, a year or two, but you haven't been telling other people. You know, there's a third party here who doesn't know that you're getting married. Um, and I think this person is waiting for you to, like, come back and get them. Maybe you told them something different. I don't know. But I see that somebody is, is expecting you to make some type of major uh, decision but they're going to be left out in the cold because you have made the decision that you're going to marry the woman that you're with, the water sign, okay? That Or that's who you're going to end up with, the water sign. And yeah, I see you legalizing a relationship, okay? But you're still, somebody is still going to be in a triangle because that's how they roll, okay? Um, then after somebody is married, they're going <laughs> to be somebody who they spend some time with on Monday through Wednesday and then uh, is this well they kind of look alike so now then so I see two different women some one could be Latina white black whatever but they're two different women they're vying for the Scorpio's attention one is oh then there's another one <laughs> what is going on here okay all right let's see this is like the cancer's reading okay all right so let's clarify what's going on here <laughs> all these okay so so far it looks like somebody is caught in the triangle somebody had to leave because somebody wasn't leaving the second party right so in one storyline somebody left me and they're still kind of obsessed with the person because they'd rather have a little bit of a man than to have nobody and then the man kind of goes between two people, but what he's not telling the third party is that he's thinking about getting married, or they could actually be planning a wedding and not telling the third party because the third party still thinks that something is jumping off. And they're going to tell the third party some stuff. The third party may find out that they got married like on social media, on Facebook or something. So if you're a third party and you're in this relationship where Scorpio is involved, um, you might find out that they, you know, are getting married. So it looks like Scorpios and their couples, a couple of Scorpios are kind of arguing right now. Some of you are involved with the Libra, and Aquarius, a Gemini, and, you know, they just are not maybe spending quality time with you. And so you spend a lot of time listening to readers to try and figure out where they're coming from. And where they're coming from for some people is that they're trying to move on. Okay? And... I feel like they offer you little bits of love, but, you know, they don't feel like this is where they want to um, stay. I see that somebody is dating an air sign, and the air sign is basically keeping their options open. All right? All right, so let's do Scorpio singles. Scorpio singles. What's going on? What's going on with Scorpio singles? Scorpio singles, you're confused because somebody cut off communication. You don't really know why you want a new beginning with them, but your hands are tied, okay? It could be a water sign. It could be an air sign. But I see that there's somebody who you haven't let go of from the past who you're not communicating with, and you might have sent them a message. I do feel like there will be some forward communication or communication. But I feel like right now they want to make you sweat, right? You're thinking that your ships are not coming in. And um, I do feel like it appears that you could be dealing with somebody who is already in a contract with somebody else. And so, yeah, so if you're, especially if with your, you're with the Virgo, this situation kind of ends in silence. So for you single people who you're not in communication with somebody who you maybe have known for a very long time, you guys maybe had a long relationship with each other, 
maybe something happened, maybe they're in jail or something, because I do feel like there's still some form of connection, but your ships are not coming in because of some legal concerns. So they could be in jail, they could be, let me cross, let me see what that is. What is the justice card in reverse for? Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords for the All right. So, who, okay. And then is the person. Okay, so it just kind of looks like there was an imbalance in desire here. Okay, it looks like, yeah, somebody had to make a head over heart decision. And it cost them many sleepless nights. But you went ahead and you um, withdrew yourself. And now you feel so bad. You feel left out in the cold and so un unhappy. So let's see what happens. What time is it? 15 minutes. Let's see what happens in December. Okay. So in December, uh, Scorpios, it looks like uh, you no longer, this is the end to a bad situation. Okay. And I see you focusing on work. I see people are going to be interested in you, but I don't really see you finding anybody that you really have all that much interest in. And then, look, look, hold on, let me put the BAM together. Do I see the BAM on here? I want it to come together. Oh, it won't work with that. Oh, man, okay. Well, this is a BAM, so I'll do some kisses. All right. Is it working? No, it's not. No, okay, anyway. I am recording right Yeah. So I see a water sign, Scorpio, coming to you, offering their heart. And one of the things that I like about the Knight of Cups in the wider rate deck is because the person is coming with their heart and they are focused on the future. Okay. So I do see somebody new coming. Um, you're not going to see them coming. You're not even going to be interested in it. But then your friend's going to be like, girl, you better stop back and silly and go out with that good looking man but then you know you're still going to be going through the whole evolution process of letting go something um, from the past and then um, you know you're going to have to go through your own process first but I do see people that's around that are interested in you and I do feel that you're just going to let yourself go through what you need to go through some of you could be dealing with the Pisces some of you are in love with this person okay and then after some time passes after, you know, you're going to put the, the water sign on, you know, the, the shelf for a while. After some time passes, then you'll give him a chance. And it looks like um, the way you're looking at him, you're feeling him. All right. And then it looks like you start a new cycle with the water sign. All right. Now we're going to end this with the married couples. Scorpio couples. All right. Scorpio couples. December. Scorpio couples. Okay, there's some type of financial loss that you guys are dealing with because of the gambling problem or drinking problem, some type of addiction. Um, there's a third party situation that's causing some problems. This could be a sister, a boss. There's just some type of loss that's causing, this could be a job loss because of drinking or a job, job loss because of addiction. And I just see you guys making a final decision. Let me see what's going on here. All right, let's see here. So, you guys are going to get somebody out your business. I see there could have been like maybe a problem with the relative or somebody who thinks that they all that, some type of prima donna. And you guys, you couple, you guys are going to make a final decision about what you guys are going to do about this third party. This It doesn't feel like a lover, but it could be. Whatever the case is, I see that the couple stays together. And some of you are dealing with people who, you know, they they do what they do. But as far as December is for couples are concerned, I see that there's a possibility that some of you are married or dealing with somebody who deals with more than one person at a time, and they're not really being honest. And uh, you guys, they're going to make a decision to leave maybe a third party alone you guys get into harmony, into the groove of things, and then, you know, somebody starts doing the same shit again. And it's like there's this never-ending cycle. But you guys stay together. So whatever you guys do, y'all like it, okay? <laughs> All right, God bless.
Also, if you want a reading, contact me at LibraWoman77 at Yahoo.com.